people think, because they haven't heard of it, most people, so right. it's like um, a critical thinking, sort of social experiment. Uh, I'd like to say more if I knew more. <laughs> yeah, do you have some yeah. leaflets there, Mark? Do, yeah. uh, it's, it's like most people don't know about it, so we're yep. not like trying to catch you out. We're just trying to put our model forward and, model no, forward and yep. sort of yours, and it's like, which makes more sense, really, you know, because yep. most people haven't even heard of the flat earth. Uh, no. it, it was teached in schools until the 19, uh, 1940s. Yep. Um, and then obviously NASA come out and put this blue marble shot out and just shut it down totally. Yep. And then if you research what they actually, actually put out, they put out composite images yep. and stitching them together. So it's not even a, a photograph yep. like they like to uh, portray. If you see those two photographs of the uh, Earth, supposed um, photographs. <clears throat> this is off NASA's site. Uh, they put a blue marble out every few years. This was from 2012. Look at the size of uh, North America. And then the year later, look at the size of North America there. It's half the <laughs> size. Yeah, but this is on NASA's own site. So they can't both be right? Yeah. So it's like they're leaving breadcrumbs just to find out that, you know, the game's up. Yeah. If you look at some of the footage from the ISS, the International Space Station, there were in ISIS and some of them are snapping or getting caught and they're filming it live and it's yep. really obvious. Yep. Uh, they, they want us to find out, I think they can't go no more further with it. Mm -hmm. Then you got Trump bringing out the Space Force. So it's, it goes on and on. Uh, but if, if you uh, research Robert Simmons on Google, you'll hear him talk. He's a, he's a visual data analyzer yep. and he produces these images of the Earth. And he tells you how he's doing it through yep. Photoshop. He says that they're not photographs. Yeah. Even on NASA's website it says images, it never says photographs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't ask you to come up, come and see my wedding images. I would say, come and see my wedding photographs. <laughs> okay. yeah. I, th I think we were all told this about five years old when we believed in Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus. Yep. That, that you live in that spinning ball of water going around it. Yep. But I would ask now, as a critical thinking adult, how can water conform to the exterior of a ball? I can't. So. No, neither no. can I. And that's <laughs> they say gravity, but gravity, I mean. Gravity's never been proven. Fred yeah. on the other side of the aisle, so. Yeah. I've worked on the other side, I've worked with uh, satellites and everything, so. With, with what? Satellites. Satellites, and yeah, orbit well, determination, etc. Right, this is quite low on the horizon, they're not pointing up in space. They could be pointing to, say, an eye object in the distance, you know, like a tower. You know, you notice the pitch on satellites. Yeah, but it's not how we calculate the orbit. So uh, can I every, everything we do is based on the fact that it's round, can and it works quite well. well and everything, everything you try to do uh, based on the flat doesn't really work. So can, can well, it does work. It works perfectly. You just have to put your mind into it. Yeah, but it. they don't do it. So everybody who calculates what satellites you're going to do when they want to bring in a satellite, yeah, either what? they're all in it. And all lying to could everybody, could, not everyone, including not, myself. Yeah, no, 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 no. The people at the what? bottom don't need to be in the lights. Like people who work in banks on the tills, they don't know what's going on at the top. True. They're not uh, changing currencies True. and True. inflation. But if you do the calculations, yeah. So the calculations are based on around the earth. Could I ask you what do you do yeah. in the satellites? What, what what is your position? So uh, not at the moment. What I used to do is uh, uh, orbit determination of satellites. So okay. determining uh, what satellite the orbit should yeah. be, determining the gravity field of the Earth based yeah. on the way satellites fly, etc. Yeah. And it's that's all, all based. It is data that you get given. You know, you know what I mean. And then you process the data, and then but the data could be given from another no, it's source. Not, it's not only the data that you're processing; it's also the other way around. It's your predictions that you make. So you assume yeah. the Earth is round. Yeah. Then you're going to calculate. Okay, if the Earth is round to a certain extent. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you look really on the micro scale, it's more like a potato than actually so perfectly uh, round. But the key term uh, is different here is they say it's an oblate spheroid, which means it's like yeah. pear shit. Now you're talking about a potato sort of a... Uh, it depends on the, on the level of detail you're looking at. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. if you look at the global level of detail, it's round and yeah. a bit flattened at the, yeah. at the poles. So. But you know there's not, not any real quality video evidence of a satellite in space, though. There, there is no image. So you don't believe there are satellites in space? Well, I've been... No. I've been it's not that I don't believe, I'm researching evidence, proof that there's a satellite in space. There's no proof of rockets or satellites in space. I've worked with these things. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate no, that. So, so no, but I mean, then, but then you, we have you a completely different, different basis. You haven't put them into space yourself though, have you? Uh, not personally, but no. yes, as a society we have. 
But as the university we have, I, I as need people proof, I know, I'm just asking for proof of that because there's no proof of satellites in space or rockets in space. Well, there's no, there's no, there's no vi video evidence of that. Okay, so there's no, there's no ISS that you see flying by like a. No, no. no but you no. have as what they tell us it is. Okay, yeah. Then you yeah. have ISS. Yeah. There's, 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 there's an anomaly that flies past, and they can say that, that that's them. But you see a, a light in the sky. Uh, it's moving at 17,000 miles an hour. So then the next question is, why would they lie about this? Who gains something um, from around there? Well, people are slaves, they're rapidly paying their taxes, they think they, let, they live, they die. Yeah, would that change if the Earth fled? Well, of yes. course it would. You can't deny creationism, because it was created. If it's flat, with the, fl with the floor of the universe, it was created. The sun and moon travel around us. Uh, we are the centre of the universe. The stars are perfectly uh, circling. Uh, the North Pole, uh, what's it called, the Polaris. Polaris. Yeah, the perfectly circled there. Um, Never moved. They've, they've done it for thousands of years. Yeah, they got more complicated yeah. and more complicated mm. to model it until yeah, they found they out what well, it was around and it's not in the centre. Did you, did you see the satellite that came down in Brazil and fell down about four months ago? Yeah, it was no. a balloon. It was attached to a, a high altitude balloon. Yeah. So, it wasn't so, not so we have drones and we have a high altitude balloons yeah, that we, we could have be having satellites. Yeah, we have high altitude balloons that can take the same pattern, but you can circumnavigate a flat a flat plane as well. So this is our map. You've got the North Pole in the centre, mm -hmm. the South Pole on the outside. So then you can go left, to, uh, east to west. You can circumnavigate that way. And that's the way they always do. No one's ever circumnavigated the globe north to south. It's never been done. But everyone's in adventure. Why would they not do that? You know, Richard Branson should have done that years ago. He's, he's, he's travelled around in a balloon. Why not fly? Well, fly, fly the over. First People have ever. flown over uh, Antarctic. But, but yeah. we're just asking for proof. <coughs> there is no proof of that. There's no proof or documented yeah, travel. It depends on what you accept south. as proof. And well, at some point you get a, to a point well, where you don't you accept. You can do a, time, a timeline photography and let's see the whole flight going around <coughs> between north and south. That's never been done. Yeah. But we've seen it east to west. So it is an interesting subject and we've got a, a yeah. lot of points that need to be answered and they're not giving us no answers, they just ridicule us and that's the best way because they don't have to accept anything we say then. But it's going to get to a point that we've got so much to say that the science community has got to listen. And this is one of the biggest things on the internet right now because so many people, educated and non-educated people, are starting to admit to themselves that all I knew was that I believed everything I was told. In sure, school, but that holds for everything. Uh, you, that holds for everything. Yeah. But you believe it no, because no, you no, see it working no, around it you. No, doesn't. There, there are self-evident truths. Like there's a self-evident truth that there's five entities here talking. You can't, that's not a belief. I don't have to believe that. So science should be demonstrable, repeatable and measurable. And when yeah. science can't produce a working model of a ball of water going around it, then that's a belief, that's a theory. Yeah. It's nonsensical. Going against all your here. senses. <laughs> oh, it's going against none, physics, isn't it? Yeah, none no. of your senses tell you you're spinning. Um, we're flying through the universe at thousands of miles, like hundreds of thousands of miles. Faster than a speeding bullet, apparently. Yeah. Well, that's just the spin, but we're, we're travelling around the moon, uh, around the sun at 66,000 miles. The spin mile we actually hour. measure. Pardon? The spin we actually measure is how we uh, navigate the ROVs in the deep sea. Yeah, because we uh, that's what we use for compass. Yeah, we measure uh, do it. Do we do that? With uh, gyros, fiber with gyros, fiber optic gyros, and with uh, graphometers. Well, so that's actually the basis of, 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 of how. Have you heard of the five scientific experiments that prove that the Earth does not move? Yeah, Michelson, Marley, Owen's failure, Sagnac. They all, they all concluded that the Earth does not move. They went out to measure the, the movement of the Earth. Science. And they concluded there, there that the Earth does not move. Science he, even Einstein yeah. said he, he doubts they'll ever be yeah. able to detect the motion of the Earth. But that's not taught in schools for obvious reasons. Yeah. That's well, nice. a couple of things. I've, I've worked with it. I've worked with all the models that are based on around Earth. What do you yeah. work with? They work pretty satellites. well for predicting, uh, for example, satellite well, all, motion, a lot star of the motion, etc. So all those models are relatively simple and yeah. they work on the around Earth. They would not work if you had a flat what? Earth model. Why? I've Why never seen a flat Earth model yeah. that would work for well, satellites we'll or predictions. We use land connections and we can have towers that can communicate from one side of the, the Earth to the other. I'm not saying you can't communicate or anything. So I'm just saying that the out. basis for what is used mm. to predict what satellites are going to do yeah. is all based on the around Earth. But yeah, how, but how, listen, and the satellites listen, do what right. we want them to do. We, we, we had so uh, ground-based communications in the 50s and they used to be able to connect all around the world through these towers. Yeah. 
Yeah. So why would they need satellites if they can do that? Or could they do that on a, did, on a globe? Did you did you know 98, 99% of all communications in the world is from undersea cables? Yeah. yeah. Still now. 99%. Yeah. So what's all these satellites? Hundreds yeah. of thousands well, of satellites. They said it because you have nexus everywhere. Oh, there's, there's some, I've worked in that. I've worked in subsea cables. Yeah. There are significant benefits to that. Well, there's 99% oh, of the all you communications. That, but, you know, no, why are they there then? To what? To some, just trillions of pounds putting them things in. Oh, no, I know that. Yeah. But 99% of our information come from undersea cables. Yeah. Well, I know because I was involved in you can Google that. Yeah. So, so, so we have 1%, the but yet yeah, we have thousands and thousands of satellites. Do you know why? But they've got satellites to the cables along the sea, they go faster. The communications for the sea cables, because the route is shorter, the communications are faster than going up 20,000 kilometers to a satellite what, what, and going back what down. What do satellites do if it's only 1%? What do they do? They give access in locations where you don't have access to the cables. Well, how can you prove that? Say, say I was coming into the world and you tell me that. How could you prove to me that that signal's coming from space yeah. and not Black, high altitude? You go, you go to the eye of the sky, you can't What get is a satellite other than high altitude? I tell, no, in, in not space. Space. I'm yeah. talking about Earth orbit. It's yeah, what is the difference between Earth orbit and space? No, no, where where, well, where you do you sail? Like, when when do you call something space and when do you call something? I've never been to space. What we call space is where there is not enough air left. So how how can you prove to me that a signal is coming from that space rather than from our Earth's atmosphere? We know how long signals take to travel. We know how long signals take to travel. Yeah, you can always how, how can you prove to me there's a satellite in space? Yeah, I've climbed mountains for years. How do I prove to you? Yeah. I don't think I can well, prove it to you. Right. Because right. I don't think you will ever accept any proof that you see. Well, show me proof. At least, at least give me the opportunity to look at the proof first. Where, where is the proof that I can look at it? We shoot something up there. Well, how can you prove that though? I'm asking for proof, not just, just not your, with all due respect to you personally. I'm not looking for your word of testimony. Yeah, okay, then tell me what you call proof. This is something you can pick up with your hands. Well, because then no, I can't. How, how does it go to space? How does it go to space? On a rocket? On a rocket. Yeah. Right. I needed to see that filmed from, taken from the factory, all in one film, onto the rocket, cameras all over that rocket, and see, the, and see the full uh, rocket leaving Earth orbit into space. That's never been filmed, by the way. No. Greatest journey of humankind has never been filmed. So for me, there should be cameras all over that rocket, yeah. inside it, Forward, outside it. Backwards. Yeah, but then backwards. if you see that, you will say that's tricked anyway, because you yeah. see the well, pictures least of Photoshop. Well, at least gives so it, the opportunity, it, it, No, but if you see that, you, won't, you won't no, accept it. No, 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 that's not necessarily true. Yeah, you can't judge people before they've seen ah, the evidence. Okay. Mm. At least show us evidence first, and let us make an assessment of that. No, but all the evidence that has been there already, that you don't... No, there's, no, there's, there's never been filmed. I'm telling you, it's never been filmed. No. We never see both sides, they never give us an alternative. Well, the information. Yeah, I, don't know. Yeah, so I, I think a lot of it sense. just comes down to faith at the end of the day because you can't. So, yeah, it's a belief. No, but you can't prove everything. Do you know what well, I mean? I, no, 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 no individual knows. Well. If it's no true, it can't can't I, I, I can prove there are six entities here having a conversation. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, but is it just one. a. Well, can you prove how many entities there are in Scotland at this moment? Well, I can't obviously prove that. But there is a limited number. This is her natural observations, primary observations. And what science is based on. How can you alone observe everything? I can't, I'm not oh, saying everything. So at some point, I, you have to no, trust no, others. No, if you yeah, just hear me out, I'm not saying everything. I just said we're starting the base yeah. route here. Yeah. It's a self evident truth. There are six people having a conversation we're, here. We've, we've got That's through observation, scientific observations. Yeah. We can't do that with rockets going to space because they won't film it, they won't show us it. So it becomes a belief. So all we have is secondary information. It's the same with most you have a secondary actually. information about almost everything. Yeah. Other well, than yeah. that, there are six people over like, here. Well, well, we also get theories built on theories built on theories. No, I agree with and that. And then that's yes. like, oh, the science has been done, but it hasn't been done. No, but not they carry on the charade and say, oh, it's been, you know, that's the answer, it's been done. Yeah, I don't think anybody down. benefits from the charade, so I don't see the well, point in do, why, though, you, why, yes, why would anybody. Oh, well, you don't know the benefits, shall we say? No. Maybe yeah. you don't know what the benefits are. You got Henry Cavendish in the 18th century claiming he, he measured the gravitational wave by one lead ball moving slightly to a bigger one. Hey, why can that be redone? Where's that exercise been done in every school and university? It's never been repeated. But yet, it's one of the most important things. Yeah, well, interesting chat, guys. Yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's good luck. They, they've got a plane to come. And it, it, it gets very passionate because people have investment and yeah. they believe in it. But, but we're just putting to you that what we were told yeah. is not true. And there's no proof for it. Just ask yourself why a lot of the time. I don't mean to disrespect the work that you no, do, but, but with all due respect, you've not put that satellite into space. You, you may have built satellites, you made a tremendous work, but you can't prove to me you that they're actually in space. Data, but they 
need to interview Elon Musk. Oh, I'd love to interview Elon Musk. No, it's fine, it's fine. Can I ask you, yeah. can I ask you th three of you before you go? Yeah. Did you think that was real, Elon Musk, putting a car in the space? Yeah. Tesla, oh, well, I, I, I don't even have an opinion yes. on that. Oh, it's all CGI, it wasn't cool. even a rocket. If you watch the video, the release video, there was a glitch in it and it showed the car in a studio just for five seconds with the lights on and then they wiped that off after ten hours. It was the why was that the These guys know. are spending I've seen, millions. It, I've seen it live, it wasn't there. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, wish, I wish you good luck. I don't think you'll ever find the proof of it. I so. see. I see Superman live on TV as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it did happen. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye -bye. Yeah, Bye. good chat, guys. Is that so? So where are you going next after this land? What site? are you trying to get? What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you trying to get? That, that, that is enough. We're trying to get people to open their eyes. Do they just believe everything they've been told? Or is it because they know? It's not hugely important. We can see ourselves. We know the earth is round. We can see ourselves? We, how? We, no, no. We know the earth is round. Could you tell me how you know? Well, because when you look on the horizon, it's not particularly here, but when you look on the horizon, sea yeah, is an the example. The ocean, it's always level. It's, uh, it's not... It's not level because you cannot see a thousand miles away. You can't. See, you can only see That's it. That's because uh, you know, there's, there's particles in the air. There's yeah. moisture. Yeah. We, we can only but, see so far with yeah. our eyes. But you've never seen the curvature, have you? Not seen. You never seen the curvature. The curvature. No, but I don't. So it's flat everywhere. I, but I personally, I, it's not something that really particularly interests me because I can see what I want to see. But do you, do you, know? Do you know that NASA get fifty-two million a day? From, from taxpayers money. NASA do, yeah. do they? To present us with fake images and uh, CGI. To protect, give you fake images. Yeah. Yeah, it's all public. CGI. Present the public. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Oh, really, that All is. the images we see of the Earth are just computer generated. Yeah, but do you know, I'll be honest with you. If the public knew the half yeah. of what is generated that we're fed with, yeah. We would be horrified. Yeah, well, oh, this yeah, is the yeah, biggest yeah. lie of all. This is... Now, we were all told that when five years old, when we believed the Santa Claus, that we lived in this spinning ball of water on it. Uh-huh. It's impossible for most of us to fall the same machine. All the images you see of Earth and space are fake. The, the Photoshop, the NASA admits the Photoshop. But people don't pay attention to that. They think it's real. Everywhere you see is flat. Water finds its own level and remains flat. Earth is covered by 71% water. Flat water, so how could that be possible in a ball? But it's so vast. It's only 40, 40. But it's not. A, it's not a ball per se. Well, the I'm sure it's not a ball per se. It's, it's so ball. huge and vast that it's not. You see, it's an oblate spheroid, but in the pictures NASA show you, it's perfect stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. So which one's true then? Well, I'm sure it isn't. I mean, we see all these satellites, uh, the, the other Mars and all these other Again, it's planets NASA and pictures. But you can't, you can't, you, we can't prove that they're solid spheres. All we can say is that the disks shape lights, that's all. Uh, Nobody's been to space. These planets don't exist. We were taught that when we were young. I would be more interested if you were saying there are people on X. <laughs> well, that's what you want. You want you to be a little bit. I think that, this that is would the, be interesting to know. I think the biggest lie is that this is the centre of the universe. We're a flat, stationary plane. But they've led us to believe that we're just a tiny speck. An endless universe. Yeah, but if that's the case, why, why is on the, the southern hemisphere, you know? Southern hemisphere? Uh-huh. How do you account that's just, for that? It's just the outer ring of the circle. This is the northern hemisphere. That's the southern hemisphere. So you're saying the outer ring is a circle, which it is. Yeah, 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 yeah but all, all, all your senses are telling you right now yeah. that you're not spinning faster than spinning going. But you're supposed to uh, negate your senses and believe you're spinning faster than a thousand miles per hour. Who said we're spinning that? Well, way? NASA. That's, ah. that's what we're educated on. We're 20 spinning more hours in a day, uh -huh. and the circumference of the Earth is 24,000 miles. So that's a thousand miles per hour. That's how fast they tell us we're spinning. Oh, so, I never realised it was. So, do you feel you're spinning? Absolutely not, because no. I was never aware that we were spinning that fast. No. Yeah, well, most people aren't. Well, yeah. We're just trying to bring. They to tell us that we yeah. around the sun, sixty-six thousand miles per hour. Oh, but then it would take a year to visit to all that, the that's sun. That's what science tells us. It's quite yeah. hard to believe. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Where's it? Where's your drone? Where's it gone? 
Yeah, yeah. Back to drone away. <laughs> oh, is that it in there? Yeah, it falls away. Right so what's there? Yeah, is that, why, why do you have that flag stuck on top of the car? It's because it's got flat earth on it. And oh, we're touring yeah. in Scotland, so... But we're not nationalists. None of us are associated uh, with the SNP. Yeah, because we were cursing it. We were, because yeah, we talked about it. We were yeah, nothing we're to do with the SNP. I've never been that. Friends English, so. Yeah. <laughs> are you yeah, English? Uh, that's He's English. He's English. We, we've never voted for the SNP. Good, good, because they want to look at their races. Honorary Scotsman, though, man. We've made him an honorary Scotsman, yeah. Good man, but you're still English. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's lovely and enlightening to talk to you. Um, we're going to press on, but Where are you going as I said, lovely. Can, can I give you a card about our YouTube channel? She's into all that, I'm not. She well, takes one of those, you never know, you may oh, have well, a well, just, yeah. just, just have a read of yeah. that, see what you think. We were cursing the car, actually. Yeah, well, I was, I was saying, all right. Well, you don't have to curse anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. And where are you heading to next? Uh, Oban. <laughs> And what's up there? Well, we're going to do the Coliseum at the top. And the Coliseum. We speak to p people all over. Yeah. We're at the Hebrides, been Sky. Yeah. We interview people in the street. Yeah. Uh, put on a YouTube channel. Inverness. Yeah. That poor dog, how old is it? Twelve and a half. Oh, bless oh. him. Anyway, lovely. Well, thank you very much for your time, ladies. Thank you. Nice talking lovely. to you. Yes, you too. Yeah, don't be angry at us now. We're not no, nationalistic. I won't, oh, I won't be. No, I will just check your car and make sure on the way down. <laughs> Right, bye bye. See bye ya. Bye. Froyan. Froyan, I'm Harry. Nice, nice to meet you. you. <laughs> so, yeah, beautiful place, beautiful weather. Oh, very cool. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, uh, how open minded are you as a person? 10 being the highest. Uh, sorry, I so, <laughs> uh, Do you consider yourself to be open minded? Yeah, of course. On a scale of 1 to 10, how, how open would you say you are? One being very closed, ten being open. Oh, okay, in uh, open-minded? Yeah. Oh, I think it's nine. Nine? Well, no. That's very open. No. <laughs> ben. <laughs> do, do you think you're being told the truth about the world through the media and the government? Of course, no. There is communication. No. It's not the truth. It's something like... Something we can make to people. Because some, are, some people are scared, so we can fix something else. Yeah. yeah. So how, how can we tell what's true and what's not true in, in a world of lies, deceit, spin and propaganda? Uh, for me, I think it's go, it's speak with people, going in the, going in the country, see what is really happening. Like, like, like first-hand experience? Yeah. yeah. Primary experience? Yeah, because social media communication is fake. There's so, so much fakeness about it, but uh, I think what the mainstream media tries to portray is that it's alternative media that's fake. Yeah. But I, I think it's the mainstream media that's fake. Mm. It's just some things they would like to show, yes. but there is different point of view, and there's just one of these point of view yeah. they decide to show. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Let me ask you, what do you do? What do you do? When you're in France, what do you work as? Uh, I'm a student. student. What, student. Are, what are you studying? Uh, international trade. International? Trade. Trade? Yeah. Oh, well, excellent. And marketing. So. Excellent. Okay. Uh, can I ask you a philosophical question? The thoughts that you have, are they your own thoughts? Own thoughts? Yeah. Uh, when you have a thought? Yeah. Is that your own thoughts? Oh, it's the point of case. Yeah, we can have common thoughts. Yeah, if you speak with people, you can have your thoughts, own thoughts, and you can think maybe different, you know, yeah. it's the point of the case and... Uh -huh. Do you think those thoughts are influenced by anything or conditioned? Oh yeah, it could be influenced, yes, of course. Yeah. So how, how do we know they're not our own thoughts? I think it's depend of my f first f things, if I think something, and if I change, I can see uh, how... Yeah. But, but our thoughts are susceptible to being conditioned by society, advertising and newspapers and, and TV. Oh, so it's like a change, uh, change mind. So sometimes when we say something, it may be repeated from what we've heard on television. Uh, you can, yeah, you can have an idea or something and... It's not our own. Yeah, yeah. or have your own idea, but when you work or when you see this thing, you can say, oh, I may be wrong and it's maybe other thing. Yeah, good, good. Do you think the Earth is a ball? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I don't really know if it's a bore. Yeah, but it's different, but yeah, yeah, it's something like this. Yeah. Right. I can ask you, how do you know that? How the, uh, <laughs> communication, pictures. I have another thing. When you are in the air by plane or in something in the sea, you can see the earth like okay. you can you see the horizon. This so. is my friend Mark. Hey, nice to meet you. So many people say this to me, they can see the curvature. But nobody has ever said, yeah, I've got proof of it here. Have a look. Do yeah. you have a photograph of it? No, of course. No proof. No. No proof. <laughs> but when you you say when you make plan, it's it's something it's, it could be not uh, like this, you know. Because yeah. How can you say when you are in the north? When you go there, you know more in the south, you know. But it's something like details, I think. Well, I've never seen the curvature. The curvature. I've never seen oh, the curve. Yeah. Well, they're flying high in an airplane or a mountain mm. or a beach. I've never seen the curvature. I talk to pilots who fly. They've never seen the curvature. <laughs> but you're claiming you've seen the curvature. Curvature is a thing. Yeah. Oh, I You've seen it though. Imagine something. Oh yes, yeah. you imagine. imagine. Yes. Yeah, of course. Do, don't you think we're sort of socially conditioned to to believe we can see it? But what all we see is a flat horizon, always. Oh, I don't think... Yeah, it's it's something an idea, I think. Yeah, it's an idea. It's also. a point of people, yeah. 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 Wherever we look, it's always flat. Mm. The horizon's always flat. Whether we're up in an airplane, on a mountain, or the beach. But yet we're told it's curvature. Now, if I was flying on an airplane, an airplane uses an artificial horizon and a gyroscope to fly level. Mm. That's why you can take your seatbelts off, because you're flying level. Now, if I was on a ball and I was flying level, I'd fly out into space, would I not? Speed, yeah. It's spin. Yeah. It's like this. I would just fly off in space. Yeah. I'd have to dive around the ball, would I not? Uh, yeah. But we don't. I uh, don't understand the... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> for, for me to get to Australia, mm. An aeroplane would have to dive down round the ball. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's impossible, isn't it? Because it's a gravity. You know, it's something like it's it's a physics. I'm not really know about physics, yeah. but it's something. Uh, can, can I suggest that you're just repeating what you've been told about gravity because it's never been proven? Uh, but it's not proved. But you can see it. Where? Where? Around. Why birds like that? Why you are just. In the earth. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I'm here just in the earth because my body weight is heavier than the atmosphere. Mm. The molecules of your body is, is heavier than the atmosphere, so you'll stay on the ground. Mm. But a helium balloon, the molecules of that balloon is lighter than the atmosphere, so it will rise. Yeah. But nothing to do with gravity. Gravity is only a theory mm. and it's never been proven. Mm -hmm. Science even says they don't know how to measure gravity. So, so it's a theory. It's very theoretical based. Okay. Now, buoyancy and density, which explains why things drop and fall, was around before the theory of gravity came into play. But that's never been proven. I do not know that. No, no. Okay. And everybody's waking up and realising all I had was a belief. Mm. I believed everything I was told. Um, I mean, do, do you trust your senses? Trust my senses? Yeah, of course. My yeah. senses, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So your senses right this minute is telling you you're not spinning. Yeah. But they will tell you you're spinning faster than a speeding bullet, 1,000 miles an hour. Mm. <laughs> but if we listen to our senses and trust our senses and our own in independent thinking, we realise we're not moving. Yeah. They, they try to convince you you're moving 1,000 miles an hour, 67,000 miles around the sun, millions of miles around the galaxy. And you look at the water, the leaves. I'm putting it to you, we were lied to about where we live. Mm. We live in a flat plane. Yeah. But what? how can you explain the, the sun? How can you explain it? Maybe, I don't know, sunrise there and go down there and yeah. change during the, the season, the months. Yeah. Well, if you look, if you look uh, on YouTube and you'll see people monitoring the sun, because we, we have, uh, oh, sorry, you can keep that. We, we have very, uh, powerful lenses now like my friend there with the P900 camera mm. so you watch the sun supposedly setting and it's halfway down the horizon apparently but then you zoom in with the camera and you'll see a space between the sun and the water again which means that the sun is going out of your line of perspective it's not going down over the horizon I mean if the sun was going over the, the hilltops there in the distance just going away from you 
Mm. It would appear it's going down, but it's not. It's just going further away. And there's evidence of that on YouTube, you can see. So I don't believe the sun goes down with any curvature. It just goes out of your line of perspective. Okay. What do you think of that? It's different point of view, different something. Like I think it's... So yeah, if you think mm. that, it's... Yeah. And, and if I, if I give you some references, would you like to look into this further? Because what? if I give you some links to go and view, would you have a look at it? Uh, I am actually in road trip, so I uh, didn't have really internet on me. Ah, right, right. So we have better maybe... Uh, Perhaps whenever you get, when you get to a, a cafe or when you get home. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Millions of people are realising that we live in a flat plane, not a spinning ball. Mm. You know all those images you see from space, off the earth? Mm. You know they're not photographs. They're just photoshopped. Yeah. Yeah. The guy, the, the guy, the guy who creates them is called Robert Simmons, and you can Google him and see that he just creates these, and he tells you how he does them. Uh, there's two there. Now you see, you see the size of America on 2012 compared to 2013. Mm. Different sizes. Mm. So they can't both be right, can they? No. So these are Photoshop, they're not real photographs. So we have no real photographs of Earth from space. Because we live in a flat plane, not a ball. And there's plenty of facts there. And, uh, there's an Earth's curvature chart here, the official curvature chart. Is this the first time you've heard this? No. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> you, you've never heard of flat Earth before? No. Flat Earth? Flat Earth. No, uh, yeah, when I was young. We, oh, right. About old religion in Greeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the um, thousand years. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, there are religious people who believe it, but I'm not religious, but I know I'm on a flat plane, flat level plane. I'm not on a spinning ball. Okay. And there's no proof to prove that we live in a spinning ball. Mm. But if, if you keep that, and I'll give you my little card from my YouTube channel where mm. I put this on, if that's okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, th thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Toby. Toby. Are you, are you a resident here, Robin? No, no. It's from Aaron. Aaron? Aaron, I'm Using a wee tour or something? I see you've all got the uh, same t-shirts on as well. We've just brought the yacht up. We're just potting oh. about the west coast and the ones of Ricky Ross through villages and towns. Fantastic. Can I ask you why you think you live in a globe? Um, I've sailed round it. Uh-huh. But you didn't sail on a straight line, did you? No. No. So we sail around the continents. That. You can sail around the continents, but you didn't go in a straight mm. line because nobody's circumnavigating the globe between north and south. Did you know that? It means you can do it in a flat plane as well as a globe. Oh, I understand different planes, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand different planes. But, but nobody's ever done it on the globe, mm -hmm. uh, north to south. But I also think the universe is circular. Yeah, I well, think it comes back round to itself. Yeah, yeah, circular, yeah, but not a ball. Well, maybe, maybe not, then. Yeah. Uh, I read, I read a book uh, by Clive Barker called Weave World once, uh -huh. which was really interesting concept about flat Earth. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm open. Good. Well, this is exactly what we want. I'm open to anything. Yeah. We're Science is in its infancy. Yeah. But also, there's a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of good things about science, but the certainly is a science you're not really allowed to question. And people get upset when you question the common accepted norms. But there's actually no proof that we live in a ball. We've been researching this for four years. and uh, no Probably one's... photographs from space. Yeah, well, uh, do you ever go on Google or YouTube? If you mm -hmm. Google Robert Simmons, 
He's the one who creates the Blue Marble Show every year. Yeah. Now he emits on the radio, you can hear him saying how he creates that. He creates it through Photoshop. He takes high altitude photographs, and then cuts them, and then sew, sews them around the ball. And then he adds clouds and different colours with cloning tools. But we've seen video footage from spacecraft, and it shows spherical. But you've seen Superman flying on television as well, haven't you? Making yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, I believe that I was born uh, the year before they faked the landing on the moon. So you don't believe they went to the moon? I don't believe they went to the moon that day. <laughs> so, so may I ask you, why do you think they were lying about moon landing? Thing? Because that's just all propaganda for the space race, for who's got the biggest cock, Russia or America. Yeah, but they were business partners together. They, they present a different um, conflict so that we fear each other. Of course. While the, while the elites are embedded in each other. That's always been the order of things. Yes. So I, I believe the moon landings were to further substantiate the, the notion of living on a ball. Because before that, I think the flat Earth movement was growing really strong. Until NASA came along and said, look, we live in a ball, look. Here's some fake CGI and cartoon images. Now, I can show you photographs of these balls, Earths, with different sizes of America each year to the next year. So they can't both be right. So, But we know they're both wrong, because the guy who creates them says they're Photoshop. Yeah, well, I believe that some of what you've seen is probably imagery. But, you know... Can I just give you that? Of course you can. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm switched off from everything for uh, 14 days. Right. That's the two, two different years, see different sizes of America. Mm -hmm. Now he admits they're, they're Photoshop, they're not real. This is one of the biggest things this on the internet right now, and millions of people are realising that when we were at school, when we lived in Tooth Fairy in Santa Claus, they told you you lived in a spinning ball. And we believed it without question. Now so many people are waking up and realising they've just been lied to, they believed it. They believed it like fish. And that's my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. I love my conspiracies. I love my being able to look. I minutes. have to say, uh, I believe in the flat earth. <laughs> yeah. why, why do you believe in the flat earth? Uh, why? Actually, I believe uh, the earth is hollow. All right. But you don't believe it's a ball with water spinning around it? Water? You don't believe it's a ball with water going around it? Actually, I don't no. know what I should believe. That's my problem. Yeah. It could be everything. It's just, uh, it's not. Uh, everybody says uh, it's it's. <laughs> no. YouTube. Yes. So he doesn't know what you should believe, but he doesn't think you live in a ball. But you don't believe it's a ball. But you, uh, have you come across information on YouTube that yeah. says we live in a hollow earth? Yeah. Yeah. No. And what about the flat plane? Flat Earth, because it's not flying through space. It's like a stick, uh, a fixed stationary. Well, elephants? Uh, no, no, no. We don't know what's no. underneath. We don't know what's underneath or what's around uh, outside. Yeah. But what makes more sense is a flat plane, don't you think? You know, fly from one place to another. But what about Mogilam? He, he told us it must be. It should yeah. be. Yeah. But these are people from hundreds of years ago. You know. Well, strange. We, we can conduct experiments now. Okay. Oh, Alright. Yeah. 71% yeah, of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Let's go around to all the water island. is always flat right. and level. Yeah. Yeah. So, how could that exist on a ball? Yeah. Well, okay. What about water drop? Oh, yeah. well, yeah. yeah, but water drop is. Yeah. It has momentum. Yeah, water drop. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> water. The CO2 water levels drop. Are you putting on the phone, are we? Pardon? Sorry. I just yeah, wasn't a plus. Well, we just filmed there people's reactions. Alright, yeah. Because the water always moves yeah. downwards yeah. Yeah. until it yeah. finds yeah. the worst point. In the, uh, climate industry. Oh, right. Uh, no, 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 it was an engineer. An engineer, but he, he understands that climate it's fraud, yeah. global warming. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Did you know about 60,000 scientists who are suing the government and Al Gore for the fraud of climate change? Yeah, well, I believe it. Yeah, 60,000 scientists. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for uh, spending yes. the time to speak. You tell you it was over the horizon.
Yeah. You can't, can't see it anymore? People are technical with that. Ah, social skills. No. Yeah, Jim Cameron. Yeah, it's just, it's, it, they they don't never get a, the time to do it, do they? Yeah. Just, All the life out of the I'd go on over the yeah. horizon. In their own little over labs. The curve. And you wouldn't be able to zoom back in. Really? Yeah. And we've, we've done this ourselves, yeah. Okay. I say I don't know what to believe, so... Uh, These are also... This is, you know, NASA releases a picture NASA. every year. Yeah. And this is in 2012. Look at the size of America. Mm -hmm. The following year they released okay. another yeah. one. And look how small America is. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe NASA. So I, don't, I don't believe any of those. Yeah. They also have the Hubble telescope here. Uh -huh. And why don't they just turn that around, you know, and take a picture of there? But they don't. They never do. I have a problem. Uh, I don't know when shops close. My kid uh, needs something special. I have yeah. to run. No problem. But um, thank you. And, uh, I and check, I check this out. Have you got your card, John? What's your name? Patrick. Patrick Mark. Yeah. Nice to meet Hi, you. Uh, check out our U John's YouTube channel. Okay, uh, yeah. And you, you really believe it's flat? Well, we know, we don't believe. Yeah. It's we not, know. Not, not belief. There's too much evidence. The water's always there. flat. We always yeah. see water flat, flat horizon everywhere. No evidence of a coverage. Okay. Uh, there's no proof or experiment that has ever shown that water can conform to the exterior of a shape. You know, that's never been uh, demonstrated ever. <laughs> yeah, Organised at all, so he's the best man to talk yeah. to. He knows where we've been and the main reasons uh, behind it. Who, who are you writing for? Golden Times. No, I just saw the sign and thought I'd got a quick chat, that's all. Well, we, we were contacting people around the islands where we've been, but it's very difficult to contact anyone. But we're, we're going around all the cities from Parliament to Orkney. Where are you from? Where are you based? Well, both in Edinburgh and Glasgow. Yeah, we don't have like a base, we're just all friends who sort of gather together. And just individuals. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're, do, we're doing a Highland tour. That's what I was asking about there, yeah. 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 We, we've got far more banners, we usually have a very big display. So where have you been, then? Where have you been so far then? Um, in, in the Highlands. The calendar. Yeah. Uh, Four wheels. Four three. Stolen away. Uh, Fort oh, Augustus. Fort Augustus. Uh, Here, Glasgow tomorrow. So it's just open for today then? Yeah, just doing a 10 day. We'll be going up to the Coliseum uh, up there. The, the, the King's Tower? Yeah. I'll give you my YouTube card. I'll go for it, mate. What, what's your views on this? I'm impartial. Yeah. Uh -huh. Still, the Jews. Says. What's that? The Jews. Jews, not I'm out I'm impartial, yet. no. I'm, yeah. Talk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you get to report this? Is this is this on your own judgment or does someone tell you if you can go the story or not? I mean we can have editorial conferences and we'll kinda of talk about it, but I just thought it was pretty quirky. Yeah, it's yeah. not often we see big things like that in Oban, so I thought come get a chat yeah. yourself. So yeah, if you bro, check yeah. out the YouTube channel, uh, you'll see for each place we go we make a video and yeah. release it. Yeah. Oh, there's nice. thousands of views. Can I photograph the views in front of the sign, is that yeah, right? Sure. Thank you. Interesting leaf, eh? Alright, thank you. Can you give me a leaflet, sir? Thank you. Can you give me a leaflet, sir? Thank you. Do you think I could ask you a couple of questions from my YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, great, great. What's your names? Uh, my name is Daniel. Uh, Katie? I'm going to turn around here because the noise of traffic is interfering with the mic. So. No worries. So, you can turn around if you want. <laughs> so, can I ask you, do you think you live on the globe? Uh, yes. Yeah. And yourself? Sorry, I didn't hear the question. Do, do you believe you live on a globe? Yes. Yeah. Can I ask you both why you think that? Uh, because there's enough evidence to support it and I honestly have... I believe that we are and I think <laughs> using like Occam's razor you can kind of be like it's much more likely that we are than we aren't, so... Yeah. yeah. And yourself? I mean, yeah, kind of the same reasons, just that we've been told that and it makes yeah. sense. So, w would, you, would you, is it fair to say it's second hand information that you've been told? Yeah. Rather than direct first hand evidence? If and you're trying to convince us of the contrary, then surely that's second hand information as well. I'm not trying to convince you of anything, I'm just going to ask and explore what you already think and why you think. Okay. Yeah. Now, you, you did say evidence and a belief, so mm -hmm. is it evidence you're going on or is it a belief you have that you're living on a globe? 
Well, surely you can't prove anything's anything in that frame of mind, and you can you can surely say that I'm standing here breathing, sure, but you can't prove the Earth's a globe, you can't prove the Earth's flat, you can't prove water is water. Like, How do you know that? Well, it's just the fact of the matter. You can't. You can. You can't prove anything's anything. Like, but, so if you're well, well is, is it not a self-evident truth? Is it not self-evident truth in life? Well, sure, you could say that, but right. it's surely a self-evident truth that the Earth's a globe. It, well, no, it's not self-evident because I'm here. Arguing about it, and so we well, were arguing about something. You can, that was you can proven. have. Uh, there's enough eyewitness reports of people seeing the curvature of the Earth on the top of mountains. Okay, to be able okay. To. Is, is eyewitness proof of anything? Not necessarily. No. So why did they not take a photograph of that curvature? Well, surely there should be photographs of the Earth being flat. There's no evidence of that, but there's evidence of it being curved. Well, I'm saying there's no, ev there's no evidence of a curvature. It's never been photographed. NASA used a fisheye lens, yeah, it's been, which carves it's, everything. It's been, it's been photographed on the top of mountains you can see over the horizon. But I, I've been up well, at the top of all the mountains. <laughs> I've never seen any coverture. I've flown at 35,000 feet, never seen any coverture. I'll just go with a status quo. Okay. So it doesn't exist. Now, I'm, I'm being told it does. Well, science should be demonstrable, repeatable, measurable, should it not? So I'm asking for proof. Well, I, you're trying to feed me fake like proof no, that I don't understand either. You're trying to, you're trying to tell me. I'm not telling you anything. I'm just asking questions. Well, I'm no, asking. no. You just told me that you've been to the top of all these mountains. I don't really know what that's. Oh trying no, to you don't have to take that as genuine. But okay. I think you'll find a lot of people will say they've never seen any coverage at 35,000 feet. That's quite a general rule of thumb. And people who claim they have, I always ask them, did you take a photograph of that? No. So I went swimming the Loch Ness monster last week. Do you believe me? You know why not? It's word of mouth, we can't, that's not proof, it's not scientific. It shouldn't be difficult to scientifically prove that we live in a ball, but there is no proof at all for it. Can you think of any proof? I've seen enough photographs and seen enough eyewitnesses to not believe that there's any kind of so, conspiracy think, to prove otherwise, to be honest. Do photographs are proof of anything? Uh, in some, some instances, yes, there's enough of them to convince me. In today's modern Photoshop, I could get Loch Ness Monster flying around Mars, it would look real. That may be, but I'm pretty happy with my beliefs. Have you heard of Robert Simmons? Oh, it is a belief. You've admitted it's a belief. Well, sorry, I'm convinced in the truth. Yeah, but it's, it's still a belief, though. You believe it's the truth. You believe what no. ev everything you hold is a belief. So. No, 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 no. I don't have any beliefs. Now, here's, uh, here's, here's what they just present to you of space every year. Now, Robert Simmons does these. You can listen to him on a radio show. He says they're not photographs. They're Photoshop. And he explains how he produces them. So there are no real photographs of Earth from space. That's what you've been told, but they can't prove that. You got somebody. Who, you see the size of America each year, how different it is. So they both can't be right, can they? But if you listen to Robert Simmons, he'll say that they're both wrong. They're all Photoshop. Have you watched the film The Matrix? No. Where somebody thinks they're living in reality, but they're not living in reality. How would you feel if, it, if the Earth was flat and it wasn't evolved? What do you mean? Let's just say we're living in a flat plane and you find out you've been lied to all your life and you're living in a spinning ball of water on it. I mean, it doesn't affect you too much, does it? The fact that they're lying to you, but where you live, it doesn't, doesn't you don't care, they lie to you. Or where you well, live. even that though, it doesn't mean they're necessarily lying. They could just not have all the information yet. Yeah, true, true. But but I'm, I'm showing you all these anomalies. All these things are photographed from miles away and according to the coverage of the Earth, you shouldn't be able to see them. And these are factual things. You can you can do it yourself by using a zoom camera. There's no curvature. I can go to the top of a mountain in Scotland and see 200 miles away. You shouldn't be able to see those mountains. It should be over the curvature of the Earth. It should be about a mile or two below the curvature. But then if the Earth was flat, you'd be able to see so much further, would you not? You can see, you can see but just over there, you can see how it's distorted, the atmospheric pressure. You can't see forever. And everything comes to parallel lines comes to a point, so we can't see forever. Maybe it's because it's curved. You can't <laughs> see it curved. It could be, but you've never seen the coverage, have you? Have you ever seen it flat? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Do um, I have to believe you though, because you haven't taken photographic evidence? And you're not believing us. <laughs> you have no idea how expert we are. So. Yeah, yeah, but if, if you don't mind me saying, I'm a lot older than you, uh, and I've experienced it for a lot longer, and I've okay. never seen coverage. Okay. And I, I know millions of people haven't seen coverage either, and I know it doesn't exist, because we live in a flat plane. I, I, thought, I thought you said you didn't have any belief, so clearly you believe that it's flat. Yeah, I said so belief. I hate using that word. Okay. But it's obvious to me, it's self evident well, truth that water lies flat. Look at the behaviour of water here. But using your natural observations, common sense, you see how water levels out at its lowest point. 
Now, you're expected to disobey your natural observations and believe that water can exist in the exterior of a ball and flow around it. Now, you believed that when you were five years old, when you believed in the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus, they told you you lived in a sp magical spinning ball of water going around it. And you never questioned it yet. I know you didn't, because I never, until four years ago, I started asking for proof. So there's no, absolutely no proof that we live in a spinning ball of water going around it. There's not a lot of proof that it's a flat plane either, though. Well, I'll take you to the beach and we'll look at a bolt in the horizon where you think it's going over the covers because you can only see the top of it. Then use a zoom camera or a telescope and you see the whole of that boat proving it's not going over the curvature, it's just going out of your line of perspective. <laughs> but then the curve's so gradual that it's not like well, it's just going well, to... Well, it's 8 inches per mile squared, so that's 73 inches after 3 miles. Now, there's all the proof of, of viewing things hundreds of miles away that we shouldn't be able to view according to their official curvature chart of the Earth. So I'm not asking you to believe me what I'm saying, I'm just asking you, would you look into it and, and realise that you've actually been lied to, we don't live it. You, your senses, we don't trust the senses anymore. The senses are telling you you're not spinning. Yet, we're supposed to be spinning around faster than a speeding bullet at 1,000 miles an hour. Do you believe that? I mean, yeah. Well, why do you believe that? Well, there's no reason not to believe it. Well, evidence. Mm, but there's evidence that we are spinning as what's, well. What's, what's the evidence that we're spinning? Well, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. So, so you don't know any evidence that we're spinning? No. No. Well, now do that I. doesn't mean there isn't any. Oh, no. You're right, but, but I don't know of any either. Do you know of any evidence that we're spinning 1,000 miles now? Yeah, I mean, day and night. Do you expect me to believe that Earth is the centre of the universe so that the sun and the moon revolve around that? Well, I don't expect you to believe that, but I would suggest that. I'm asking for evidence that we're spinning. I see everything above me going around, but there's no evidence that I'm spinning. So, where do you suggest clouds go then? If they don't continue, if well, so once, so say a cloud starts here and it's going towards yeah. Glasgow. Where are the edges of the Earth? If you say it's Antarctica, then after clouds, if they're going around the globe, if they're going that way, they just disappear. Is that what you're saying? I don't know where uh, they go. Oh well, then uh, sun and the moon go around. This like uh, they come around the Earth, is that what you're saying? So well, you're saying we're in the centre? Not that way, they go around this way. Okay, well... Do, do you know nobody's ever stuck to navigate the Earth between North and South? Why, why do you think that is? Uh... Do, some, some explorer would want to go around between North and South. Richard Branson, does he not want to go and have that adventure? Nobody's done it. Why not? Well, I mean, commercial space flight's something that's coming pretty soon, so... Uh, well. With all due respect to your age, I was told that in the 1980s that Richard Branson, within five years, he's going to go to space. Five years come and go, then he mentions, oh, within ten years, we're going to go to space. Oh, no. Then again, 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 we're like goldfish. He's never going to go to space because it doesn't exist. Mm. Well, thank you for your time. Okay, uh, be, be, before you go, there's five scientific experiments that were conducted that prove that the Earth does not move. But you're not taught them in school for obvious reasons. Look up Ailey's failure, Nicholson Morley experiment, Sagnac. They all went to measure the movement of the Earth and they concluded the Earth does not move. Now, that's a scientific fact. Uh, I mean, you can say that to me all you want, but I believe other scientists. Uh, well, I'll just give you some evidence. If you, if you have an open mind and you want to make sure you're not being lied to, you'll check it out. And for, to be informed, we have, must know both sides, do we not? We can't be informed if we're given one side of the thing, which we have done by the education system. I mean, there's a lot of things the education system doesn't tell you. I, I quite agree with you, yes. I call it indoctrination. Mm. I went, I had my indoctrination and everything that I've learned since I left school is complete opposite to what was told in school. Almost everything in history. You must have gone to a weird school then. <laughs> well, no, I think as you grow, grow older, you'll realise that a lot of what you're told in school is propaganda. Possibly. But anyway, thank you very much both for your time, for thank listening. You. Bye bye. What? 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 Right, there is no real evidence of rockets or satellites in space. No. Okay. Can, can, yeah. we, can we ask you two ladies if, if you could you come forward a bit, ma'am? Do you believe that you live in a spinning yeah. ball? Yeah. No. No. Oh, not good. <laughs> could we ask you why you believe that? It's because I've seen photos of it. Sorry? I've seen photos of You've it. You've seen photos of it. And, and yourself, where are you with it? 
I just don't like living the spinning ball, to be honest. It's Good for you. I knew you were bright as soon as you walked past. <laughs> can, can I just add something here? Mm -hmm. I saw a photo of the Loch Ness Monster yesterday. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I did. Yeah. So why, why, why is it not a lie that we've been showing a spinning ball? Why would it be flat, though? Well, is, it, is that water flat behind you? Yeah. Right then. So everywhere you see is flat? Yeah, and yeah. they say that this is a spinning yes, ball, yeah. but that's not... No. Did, you, did you know the photographs you see from space are not photographs? The Photoshop? Why? Yeah, good, good question. Why? You see, uh, here we go. There's two of them. That's two they present to you. You see the different size of America each year. What, is that the same place? Yeah, that's from same NASA. One. They take a different picture every like few years. So this is like the year before, like 2012, 2013, and it's shrunk half the size of what it is. There. But this is from NASA's own site. Rob, Robert, so. Robert, Robert Simmons creates these. You can hear him on Google. Uh, Google is named Robert like Simmons, and you hear him in an interview mm -hmm. saying that they're Photoshop. He creates them. They take him from eight high altitude photographs. Lied to this whole time, image. <laughs> nah. <laughs> now all your senses. <laughs> all your senses are telling you you're not spinning, aren't they? <laughs> what did you say, sorry? Oh, you had, you had a drink. No, no. So you're not spinning, then, are you? Oh no, no. no. So, so all, all your senses are telling you you're not spinning. But mm -hmm. we're taught not to listen to your senses and to trust authority. Hmm. I don't believe that. Do you think I you're spinning at 1,000 nah. miles per hour? Nah. 1,000? No That's way! Look, at the, look how slow these clouds are moving. Faster than don't a speeding bullet it. you're supposed no. to be spinning. Nah, I reckon it's flat now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we didn't even have to pay any money yet. <laughs> so, so, don't you think it's madness though that you believe water can exist going around the ball? Yeah, how do people on the bottom of the world not fall off? Good question, it good question. It makes sense, does yeah, it? it doesn't. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. How can aeroplanes fly around the ball? Oh, going upside down? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make does sense it? it's flat. Yeah, it would make well, you sense. just go from one place to the other. Yeah. So you can right. circumnavigate people when it's a flat plane. You can circumnavigate yeah. and come back to where we started again. Yeah. But nobody's yeah. circumnavigated the, the earth between north and south. Did you know that? Mm, that's pretty cool. Because it's not a ball. Imogen, have you been changed to the earth is flat? Yeah, I believe it now. <coughs> well, you shouldn't believe so easily, girls. That's terrible. You should research it. I've already believed I've, 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 yeah. already believed that the world's I've, flat. Told. You should go into research it. Can I give you my YouTube channel? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. We go over Britain doing this. It's difficult for us to do much more convincing. Because <laughs> we've been brainwashed. See, see when we all believed in Santa Claus and Tooth Fairy, they took you in a classroom to you live in that magic spinny ball of water in it. Okay, yes. <laughs> and we never question it again. There's no proof. We, we just showed you how photographs are doctored. Nobody's been to space. There's none of these distant planets. Yeah. I, okay, this I is probably the biggest thing on the internet right now and you'd be thankful that we brought it to your attention because you'd be ahead of the game because this Yeah, we'll figure it out, we'll watch this video. Yeah, we're going to yeah. watch that. Watch yeah. the video and then have, have a look, you'll see, I'll upload it in a, a week's time or so, the video of Open. We're going to have to call the after to put a big banner on there, this one. What? Let's film it with a drone. Up, up there. Yeah, on what? We're going to put the banner up there and film it with my drone. Yeah. Flying drone and yeah. flying all over there. Over. That'll be good. Yeah, well, we've done it in so many different parts already in Scotland. So. Yeah, correct. Make sure you leave a comment when you watch the video. Leave a comment. Okay, we'll leave okay. a comment. I'll leave a comment. Yeah. 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 Girls, thank you very much for thank your time. You. You've been thank great. You. Bye. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the time. The circles are the same, so it can't be you know closer or further away. <laughs> Because that would be different yeah, size. Yeah. So you can check this on NASA's own site. We're, we're from Denmark. There's right. a Danish guy who's telling a lot about this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this on YouTube? Yeah. Uh, maybe I, I've seen him in the, the telly. What's his name again? Oh, on the TV? I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
How is Denmark responding to this? Line of science. Uh, Do you think crazy? <laughs> Do you think crazy? Uh, most, most people <clears throat> say he's a little... Long but, but some people... <laughs> 273 miles. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but he <laughs> says... Uh, I, I don't agree with this, say, but uh, he says some things, uh, yeah. I think... Do you think it's clearly He has a little bit of a point, some point but, but, but uh, I don't think... Where, where the, the, the thing that's really... The things that's really crazy is to believe that water can flow around the ball. We believed that at five years old, we were told about Santa Claus, and then we were told we lived on this ball. Oh, what flowing around Google it? Google at five years it. old. And from that, um, your critical yeah, thinking hadn't developed, but, but we form that belief we have now from five years old. Did but I'm asking you as an adult now, how can water conform to the exterior of a bowl? Yeah, but I, I don't hear how, how, about a lot of What do you think about all the, falling the picture of the earth the, from the moon? But you're going to fall <laughs> What do you think about the picture of the moon? Yeah. Yeah. No, they're it's taking every there. year yeah. to see the size of America compared to there. Yeah. Different sizes. Yes. Is it, so no, they both can't be right. Sense. Is it some, some objects or something? No, no. Oh, the guy who creates it, you can Google, <laughs> Google him, he's called Robert Simon. Uh, uh, and he says they're Photoshop. He photoshops them. Okay. They're not real photographs. So we don't have real photographs of Earth. We just have the first Danish Danish cast moons on the Mir last year. What's that, sorry? We have our first astronaut in Denmark. Oh, right. On the Mir. And when he tells. That 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 good man uh, see, see, see the ball. It's, it's to get people patriotic. Every country has somebody going to space uh, to make you believe they're going there. <laughs> okay. Now, I, 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 I like uh, I like to believe. Uh, I'm a I'm a X file guy. But, but, but this this is too far for me. The the, the, the the British astronaut who went to space. He sits in, sits in a rocket before it takes off. Just sitting there. Next time we see him, he's on the International Space Station. Ta da! Why did we not see the whole journey? Yeah. That, that rocket should be filled with uh, cameras so we can see the whole journey. Yeah. But a rocket leaving space, going into a vacuum of space, sorry, leaving Earth orbit into a vacuum of space, that's never been documented. It's the greatest journey of humankind that's never been filmed. Because nobody goes to space. <laughs> It's all, it's like, did you see the film The Matrix? A couple of years ago, I, I, I didn't think we have been to the moon, but, uh, but, uh, Good. So, but, 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 but so, so, obviously we have, I no, think. No, no, we haven't. Oh, okay. But, but, but then why would you? Van Allen Belt, they said they can't get through the, the radiation belt. The flags can uh, do like this, and the shadows uh, can be there, yeah, and it's in, 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 out in the, so the desert uh, and stuff. Uh, so, so why would they lie to you about that if they didn't go? Yeah, yeah. What about Dad 11? <laughs> Economy. <laughs> Economy. Yeah. NASA get 52 million a day since the 1960s to present us with cartoons and CGI images. Yeah. Nobody's been in rockets to space. Ever. The moon was over almost 50 years ago, 50 years ago next year, I think. And they've still not been back. Do you know why they say they've not been back? Because they've lost the technology. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to go back for. We have to export so, so much, I uh, think. Uh, no I have oil, seen, uh, so why? <laughs> the, the last Apollo 18 was the last, uh, I yeah. think. Or? Do you think there's any possibility what you think about the, the heliocentric model and space travel could be a lie? Is there any possibility? Yeah, that, that, it, that it, could, it could be a lie. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Only to make funds for war, what? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, for, the military, <laughs> yeah. they use the money. Yeah. Illegal war. Yeah. But they're making enough money out of illegal wars anyway by selling arms to both sides yeah. and then taking the natural resources yeah. of that country Since that the they Napoleon, made. they're funded. But uh, they're very good, the, 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 the pranks guys, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I give you my YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, we like to, to watch it. If you don't mind, I'll, I'll put it on YouTube. Okay. Let's go for YouTube. Yeah. I'm normally a, 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 a conspiration guy, but but this conspiration is uh, is too too far for me. But, uh, yeah, but it's I, I, I want to believe. I'm Fox Mulder. Have you got what you want? Yeah. They've all got one. You said you won't believe it, but could, could you read that black area and tell me if that applies to you? Just that bit. Yeah. It's pretty. Who knows what you have? Yes, yes, of course. So, we, we cannot think about anything new because we're so ingrained and brainwashed with what I, we've already I, I been I like told. To, to make new new meanings because uh, I, I, you have to get, get smarter uh, yes. to, to learn in your life. You have to have so, your beliefs. So it's not a defense, uh, not a, I'm not lost anything right. because I have learned some new, something mm. new. But, uh, because you need your beliefs challenged yeah, to develop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was also five scientific experiments conducted that proved the Earth does not move. 
But that's not taught in school, is it? But scientific, peer-reviewed facts, the Earth does not move. Because they went out to measure the movement of the Earth and they concluded the Earth does not move. Nicholson Morley experiment, Sagnac, Ailey's failure, another two I can never remember. But that's, that's scientific facts saying the Earth doesn't move. But they don't tell you that in school. No. And I'd have to ask, ask you again, how can water flow around the ball? It's ridiculous. How can a plane fly around the ball? Yeah. Impossible. If, if it's flat, where was the water going if it's flat? <laughs> well, all water's contained. Your cup, your bath, a lake is contained. Well, the, the ice cap, the things you go from. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, so yeah, the water yeah. in a I flat plane uh, can be if, contained. If, 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 if you think of a lake lot or a lake, yeah. the water's held in by the land yeah. around it. So if we go to the edge, as some, as some people call it. Why, why does this go down? It's gravity like the it's, water. It's because... How do you know that it's gravity? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's because the molecules yeah. are denser than yeah. the atmosphere. So yeah. Just my camera is heavier than the atmosphere. If I let it go, it falls. So, so weightless, weightlessness is, 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 is not for real? Well, what? if I have a helium balloon yeah. and I let it go, yeah. it rises. Yeah. That's because the molecules are less dense than the atmosphere. Yeah. So gravity has no impact on either. So gravity is selective. <laughs> hey, weightlessness is... Is it not is a it, natural force? Well, if, 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 I, if, if like Mark says, if I drop this camera, there's no proof that there's a force pulling it down. <laughs> Simply the weight of that is heavier than the atmosphere. Mm, yeah. And, and uh, buoyancy... Like water and oil. <laughs> buoyancy and density was there before the theory of gravity ever came mm. into play. And the theory of gravity has never been proven. That's why it's called the theory of gravity. Okay. And weightlessness does exist, but that's under exceptional Zero. circumstances. When a plane dives at a certain yeah, speed at a certain coming. angle. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in the good. You know, that's the yeah. only uh, time I've ever seen that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Except yeah. from in the fake space station. <laughs> so, yeah. I will go and look at that. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, yes, for your time. Interesting to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. Your time. Goodbye. Yeah. Who's this guy? Tara. Tara. Tara Firma. Yes, yeah. Not Tara, Tara Firma. Firma. So, yeah, but... Exactly. So, uh, it's really good what I heard there was that you don't know. I mean, that's, that means your mind is well, in a state of wanting to know. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious as to how... how it's possible. Well, when you look out there... Do you see? Beautiful. Do you see flat? Yeah, the beautiful flatness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You never see water conforming to the exterior of a, a ball shape, do you? In nature. It's so enormous, though. Like, how could it? It's beyond our comprehension. No, no, it's not because uh, scientists tell us to give us the curvature chart. There, we shouldn't be able to see all these things. They should be way below the curvature of the Earth. But do you find that? I mean, we've got mountains in the way, haven't we, at the moment? Yeah, but not always. When you can see it. It's, but it's, if you see the sea, you can kind of see an element. Can you? A suggestion, or maybe it's a learned mm. suggestion. But well, I've never seen it. Yeah. And, uh, I've but I've never fallen off the earth, and I've been to Australia, and I've been to New Zealand. I didn't fall off. Yes, but I, th I think you're listening to the media trying to mock flat earth. No, All no water. I'm, I'm, I'm open-minded. I'm yeah, curious. Yeah, yeah, but you would only fall off if it was a globe. What, yes. Why do you presume there's an edge to a flat earth? Well, because if it's flat, it's, is it infinite then? So well, we don't it know could, everything? It, it could be, but if you look at water, all water's contained. Yeah. So if it's flat, then it's contained. There's no magical edge that things flow off. Mm. You ever feel like spinning? But you've never seen the curvature. Nobody's ever seen the curvature. I don't, I don't think it's possible to see the well, curvature. Well, it is, it go, according to the official figures that they present to us. If you go by that curvature chart... <laughs> My eyesight's like not good enough for that. Yeah. And <laughs> NASA shows pictures all the time, and they have curvature in them at 60,000 feet. To me, yeah. to me, these just seem like numbers. I wouldn't... Well, well nah, research it, then. It's not our well, numbers. Oh, yeah. It gives you the distance. Uh, well, look one mile, two mile, it goes all the way down to 300 miles. And then if you just go across, Sorry, it'll give you the oh, foot. Yeah. So for five miles, it's 16 foot of curvature. If you go down so, to 100 in miles. The grand, in the grand scheme of things, 16 foot with this expanse isn't an awful lot, is but it? If, if, you, if, you look at, if you look at that there, see how many many miles that should be below the curvature? 270 feet. Yeah. That's the world record for the longest yeah, photograph. Three taken. miles behind. And we can three see miles. quite a large amount of it. it, it that's just to the peak, that's three Pyrenees. miles. Even, yeah, in in Black, even in Blackpool, uh, yeah. from the promenade, mm. um, 280, two and a half thousand feet should be hidden. 
from the Isle of Man. You can even see the wind farms quite in front of it. They're 150 feet high. This is from the beach, you can see this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's asking a lot of questions. It's like, is the so globe 10 times bigger than we're told? No, but I don't think so. So tell me, tell me, tell me what you, tell me about it then. So the earth is flat. Yeah. Challenge what you know. You want me to challenge you? Well, if, if, you, you, if you read that, Challenge yourself. Well, challenge yourself. What you've what you've been. Yes. What you've That's learned. Is if you it just if learned you read behavior. That, if you read that black page and tell me what you think. Sometimes people hold a core belief that is very strong. When they are presented with evidence that works against that belief, the new evidence cannot be accepted. It would create a feeling that is extremely uncomfortable, called cognitive dissonance. And because it's so important to protect the core belief, they will rationalise, ignore, and even deny things that don't fit that core belief. Cognitive dissonance. I, I yeah. suffer from it myself. We all do. With like, the internet, yeah. we can't yeah. avoid it. Because yeah. it's like, if you want something to be true, it can be, because you can yeah, find everything that will yeah. validate yeah. it yeah. for you. Could, could I ask your name, please? Laura. Laura. Hey, guys. <laughs> Laura, about, about, uh, about the same time as us, five years old, when we believed in Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy, uh, we were told we lived on the spinning ball. Mm. Now, our, cr our creative thinking hadn't developed by then. But yet we believed it without question. We all did, we just believe it. But now as a thinking independent, ad, sorry, <laughs> as an adult with independent thinking, I'm asking you, how could water conform to the exterior of a bowl? The thing is though, everything in physics blows your mind completely. But if you, th if you think about the sorry. universe and if you, okay. think about, if you think about what's, I mean, scientists say the universe is expanding. If you think, yep. if, if you yeah, look up and have a little think, yeah, it blows your, could, it could blows we, your mind. Yeah, but so could physics we, is just. Could we just magic. address address the water? How how can water conform to the exterior of a ball? Well, I've, I've learnt that it's gravity because <laughs> what, the the Earth has a um, right. sufficient a mass yeah. to have well, well, to have a pull in the centre. You've been told that though. Well, I'm not. I've not seen it with my own eyes. No, no. I mean, how can we go to the centre yeah. of the Earth? <laughs> so so. I know not. No, but you're giving out. It's it's a belief then, isn't it? It's a belief, but it's also Taylor. it's also science, isn't it? And science has a methodology, which and that's the whole point of science is it's like it's rational and it's meant to be a methodology that's repeatable by exactly lots be. of different people. So you could follow someone's it, it should be experiment it's, and we have the same outcome. Science should be demonstrable, repeatable, and measurable. Yeah, they cannot reproduce a working model with a ball with water going around it. So therefore, it's a belief because we we take it as second-hand knowledge. Absolutely. Every, if you look at everything in that way, then everything's a belief. No, I, I would differ to I that. I could don't, I could stand don't, here and tell you that the Earth is a pyramid. Don't you believe in self-evident truths? Self-evident truths. You can't be argued like there's two entities here talking. Well, I mean, is this even happening? I don't know. No, no. You see, <laughs> that's what school does to you. It makes you no, uh, no, complicate something. You. But using your common sense and your natural observations, are there two people talking here? Well, the, the, if the viewer, if you put this on your YouTube no, channel, no, you no, can no, only see me. Never so, mind. Mate, there's no, no one else. No, I'm, ask, I'm asking you personally. Never mind YouTube and camera. <laughs> are there two using your common sense and natural observations? Are there two people here talking? Yeah. Right. Now, we can overcomplicate what we see, but we have to observe our facts in front of us. There are two people here, but we are taught to go, ah, oh, but other people, are, are we really humans or is there an invisible force? We have to keep it simple. Natural observations, using our common sense. So there are self-evident truths. You know, water is hot, fire... Sorry, fire is hot, water is wet. They're self-evident truths. Have they learned, though? You've learned that word, hot. Yes, I, I give you that. So is your experience I'll give you that. the same as mine? Yeah. Probably. Let's just, the same. let's just say it'd be painful, then. If I put my hand in burning hot ashes, it's going to be painful, isn't it? That's a self-evident truth. Yeah. Yeah. So three, there's three here now. That's a self-evident truth. <laughs> so, so, so we can have self-evident truths without a belief. I don't have to believe these three people here. It's self-evident. So there's many more self-evidence using the natural observations. Water always finds its own level. It cannot conform to the exterior of any shape. Mm. That's what you're told, but your natural observations are that water uh, falls to its lowest point and levels out. Now, we're told that the Earth is covered in 71% water, flat water. So how could have a ball looked, be 71% flat? Have you ever flat? looked at a depth chart? Because like, yeah. obviously water looks flat from where we're standing, but underneath it's not flat at all. It's like caverns and it's... Oh, abso absolutely. So, so, so you mean, do you mean flat as in it's our visual experience of it being flat? Well, it's, it's level Le at the top. So mount not mountains, just like... Right. That's like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, take 
you know, it can, can curve underneath, but it'd still be flat. Even if the world was flat, but the water would stay level. You know, water doesn't conform. To any shape. No, yeah, no, I think that's, that's true. But yeah, we're supposed to believe it does. Was that, now science, like we said, should be demonstrable to people and measurable. They cannot reproduce the working model of a ball of water going around it. So therefore it's a belief. Mm. Second-hand information. It's the same with the, it's the, same with the gravity uh, constant. It's the same with like, planets light years away. Can't prove any of these things. The theory of gravity has never been proven. Mm -hmm. But yet we're supposed to believe it can hold water to the exterior of a bottle. Yeah, it's interesting. It's absolutely nonsense. So, so you feel really passionate about it. Well, I think it's a. What's, what's your What's your end? What's your goal? It's a criminal act because if you think what's happening in the world, they get 52 million a day. NASA get since the 1960s. So it's anti-NASA. No, anti that's part of it. They're hiding us from ourselves. Our spiritual existence the key because the slaves like the battery and the humans just have a key to our own slave. We all pay our taxes, we live and we die and it, that's it, game over. There's, there's more to life than that. Also, also we suspect there's further land being kept from us because we believe we live in this spinning ball and there's only space out there. Mm. We don't believe it's a ball and we believe there may be further land, mm -hmm. not space. And there's, yeah. there's a lot of evidence these, that people have seen for the land. Yeah, what does it matter to me? It matters so much. They're injecting kids with vaccines and the you know, endless wars and stuff like that. And it's just like normal. I mean, but do you do you think that? Uh, I mean, you're going to probably shut me down here. But do you think that actually things are getting better? They're getting worse. Do you think that, worse. I mean, I know there's a sort of general sense of doom and gloom, but, doom and gloom, but you talk mm. about cognitive dissonance, and I'm, well, like, about I'm no expert on any about of this stuff. We're creating a, a cashless but. society, putting IVF chips in us, we're on about G5 networks. Oh. Yeah. Which is just going to be mind control. I see. They're all about it. Uh, Trump's set up the space force now. No, I, Ready just, I, just, I disagree with him, but I'm just yeah, saying the fact that we're total arsehole. Yeah, no, I agree. Oh, what? Uh, uh, modern, modern convention. Yeah. I'll find you. Just sort of near them. Yeah. I'll look you up. Okay. If you leave a message on the. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll track you down. Yeah, right. Do you ever look up at the sky?
far as I can. 